Hello, people of the internet. Welcome to the quasi second part of season three. But we haven't finished season three, part one yet. But the new episodes have come out, and one of them is one we have to get to before we move on to the other parts of part one of season three. So we're going to hit on that one. Reflect All is actually going to be the next one. And probably wait until that one came out to do any more. So apologies for no video last week. I got caught up in some personal matters. You, If you've seen my post on YouTube, you probably understand what those are. And for the record, if I don't post any more episodes on the Mondays, uh, that's probably why there's a lot going on right at the moment. So if there ends up not being one on Mondays, then you know why uh, this is where like this... Uh, can it just lay low for like two minutes for like maybe an hour maybe so we're gonna try to do we're actually we are gonna do reflect all right at the moment so as always leave a like comment ring the bell subscribe for geek gaming culture so, uh, ring the bell for new content ring the bell for whatever we get new content because I've heard that people have not gotten notifications about new videos and one of the things we've heard is that a lot of people don't push that bell button so a lot of people probably don't know it's there or people just forget that that's something that you have to do YouTube makes you jump through hurdles in order to get somebody to remind you that, it's, that somebody is even making a video or posting a video so yeah you gotta jump through YouTube's hoops for some reason but yeah, ring the bell, that's how we have to do it until they figure out something better, which judging from how YouTube is, it's just going to get worse. Facebook Watch is also a viable thing. If I remember to upload stuff on there, I will do that. I have to upload some of the other episodes from there on Facebook Watch at some point as well. I probably will do that later on in the week. So with that having been said, let's go to Reflect All. I have some ideas for a new intro for this, by the way. They fix Eiffel Tower again. How many times has that happened? Because you don't have a sense of humor. Whatever. I'm just in charge of the humor department. And you're gonna you yeah do that. Don't you want to be? I like that. Oh oh. Sure, Marinette would love to have you as her model. You've got to follow your dreams in life. Don't let them pass you by. We you were made for this. Go for it. Wow! Uh, yeah, Marinette's not gonna like that any time. There was no top half of her face. What's that? Ollie is trying to be peace. Like a matchmaker all the time. It's more like all he is like to push Marinette into this relationship. That I'm starting to get a little uncomfortable around that. Yeah, and who cares what your dad thinks at this point, right? <laughs> That's perfect. What is her? Oh, she's uh, she's brushing her hair. I thought she was doing something else that would like imply something. Okay, maybe we can do it again some other day if my father lets me. Would you prefer if someone slammed in for you? Oh, she's having a panic attack, girl. No one realizes that she is like having closer to asthma attack here. No wonder she would get akumatized. What? Oh! Hey, that doesn't look quite bad. Hello. Uh, Are you okay, Marinette? Yeah, he's too hot. I made him. <laughs> <laughs> he's in here, aren't you? 
Uh, <laughs> you are. We're gonna take well. I don't know what to say to that. I really don't know. It'll be easier to bridge. Girls, we've only got 30 minutes left. Yeah, so stages day sunset. You are having major major my young prey fails to be the center of attention. Nisa did not pick anybody new. I need my Yura to give this negative emotion a new dimension. Oh, we about to see a uh cool, the new so spread my feathers. I didn't catch who her name was. I have to look at that a little later. Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous. Hawkma, Mayura, you can count on me. I will succeed this time. That was a nice puff of smoke animation. Oh, look at the mega sword. She keeps on. Nope, you don't have it. Oh, no. Lucky day, sugar cube. A miracle in the making. Now sugar cube? A nice aged snack while we wait oh, God, no. Film. They taste like burning. What is she shooting them with? I hope the big brute is not in there. How are we going to be able to find our owners? Stay focused, Sugar Cube. Everything will be all right. Yeah, you just leave Tiki there. Nice going, Flag. Whoa! Are we are we doing this? Yeah, we're doing this. Uh, Catwoman much? You're gonna break out for power again. And we're doing this. Okay, this is awesome. This is awesome. Never since the word that was awesome. All of a sudden, we got the Red Power Ranger. Go, go, Power Rangers! Yes, Mr. Bug, use the yo yo as a shield. <laughs> <laughs> They've swapped their miraculouses. And they're struggling with their new powers. Make the most of it, Reflector. How do you know that you should know who they are at this point? What? The lucky charm doesn't just give you what you want. We'll see about that. Watch and learn. You're an idiot. Lucky charm. Yeah, you don't know what you're doing. The villain with you actually have to figure out exactly how to use it to win the battle using your head. Which he has little of. Use that. I'm the cunning, funny, and ultra charming Lady Noir. Watch and learn. Oh, Lady Noir. That's where they get the name. She can more, boy, help me. <laughs> now you're asking for help? With someone else's attention? No, definitely not. Chaos can prove a good ally. Why did you not figure that out before? And you still use that awful thing. Now you gotta do a new. Oh no! I admit that I like wearing your costume. It's a lot lighter on the shoulders. Although you look really good doing what it is you're doing. Continue. Insert coin. So they got it. Bye bye, little feather. <laughs> feather? Mr. Bug. Mr. Bug? Oh, that was awesome. 
Oh no! She's fine. She's just tired. Yeah! No, she's Nobody not. She needs peace and quiet. Do so. Let her rest. Yes, of course. Sorry. Oh no! Oh, that's a good subplot. That alone is a good subplot. That was really awesome. Sure was. No better way to escape the boredom of daily life. <laughs> daily life. I was so afraid I lost you forever, Tiki. I'm so happy to have you back. <laughs> well, you were really nice looking as Lady Noir. It's important. Please, please. <clears throat> he is so. Well, no, it was Alia's fault that that even happened. All right, I want to get to the obvious thing first, Lady Noir, and what did he call himself? Bug? I don't know what he called himself. Oh man, that was cool. Okay. AJ looked like a damn Power Ranger. <laughs> he looked like a Power Ranger with spots, like the Red Ranger. Like he should be baked inside a pizza. If you, everybody remembers that. Should be forever red on that. But we'll get to a few other things about that in just a second. The looker is Lady Noir. Wow. Wow. She looks the part of a bad, you know what, martial art female expert. And that's okay with me. With the pigtail and, well, no, I don't know pigtail, but with the ponytail, braided ponytail. Ha 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 ha. She looks the part big time. Okay? So, and, yeah, in, in, the, in the most plutonic way possible, by the way. Just want to put that out there. Both those costumes a little weird on the Adrian thing. I I'm not I'm blanking at what they call them now, but they, they only said it once, and I don't remember what, it, what he called them. I'm sure somebody in the in the comment section is gonna go, he this is what he was, this is who he was. Sorry, I don't remember it, but he he looked like a freaking Power Ranger with a mirror that he didn't know how to use. I liked that they were trying to use each other's powers really well, but they didn't really know how each one did it, and it played into the beginning of the episode, when you had Adrian, well, Katnora and Leiba kind of, like, spouting at each other about each other's personalities at that point. But this is another thing to where they were doing each other's uh, humor, and then the seriousness, trying to go to seriousness of... Everything. It was a little less weird in uh, Marinette when, in the origins when Liddy Bob first got, when Marinette first got the miraculous, that she didn't really know how to use it. And But I mean, she learned quickly, but she didn't really know how to use it and she got a little flustered and she thought she was failing things. Kind of the same thing here, although Adrian has a little bit more confidence in himself than Marinette has. So that was. Kind of, it was sort of the same, but at the same time, he had a little bit more confidence in order to not really fail right away, to give up right away. He wanted to, he kind of had a feeling of how to use it, but again, he had that support of Lady Noir there. I think Lady Noir grew into her role a little bit more as Lady Noir because she's more the focused one. She's more the focused per ones out of any of them. So. That kind of played into it, but at the same time, this goes more into my theory into the personalities of the Kwamis, where when they merge into uh, into Lady Ladybug and Gat Noir, that they, in a sense, gain they they kind of merge personalities with those that they merge with. That's been a theory, and I heard it's debunked in a sort of way. People would say to be yes, they been debunked. I don't know. Every time we see like, oh, it's been debunked, something else happens. They kind of troll us. Saw my river again. I don't remember if she had a costume before this that was different, but it didn't seem as though her costume had as much of an impact to me as the first time. I don't know if that's because 
I remember her as having a different thing. I'll have to look at my Rura again in season two to see whether or not that was the case. But as far as I'm aware, she only had, she had kind of a more brightish costume or maybe I'm thinking of Scarlet Moth. Didn't really sit well with me as well at like the first time around. Subplot though, with how the peacock is kind of like damaged. So every time that Natalie has been using this, she's been, it's taken a lot out of her. Why do I got the feeling that's what happened with Amelia? And we're also seeing at the end of the, near the end of the episode that Gabrielle all throughout all of this has a heart and she's actually caring for Natalie, which begs the question is that he's having bad, she's, he has some good intentions within himself. But he's really taking the wrong way of going about it and huge amount of layers that we still have to examine within Gabriel as to what what's caused them to go do these bad things, but might still have a heart, still have a little bit of a heart inside of him. So I like that subplot there, and I like I want to see him examine that a little bit more. Now let me just talk about this Akuma for a second. We've seen this before with with Black Doll with Julika, and I forget how, why she got Akumika the last time. Well, we saw the Santa Monster, which I was explaining that that was not the first time they've ever seen him. Maybe that was a, like some uh, episode we forgot about? And I did, again, I didn't catch also the name of the Kwame that is with the Peacock Miraculous. I, I didn't catch that. I'll have to look back and see what's called, like the, the name of it. The Santa Monster was, a, was kind of a Megazord. A little bit of Power Rangers references here. I kind of, I wasn't really focused on the notion that she was changing everybody into who she was. And it was kind of <clears throat> convoluted in such a way where they had to take out <clears throat> both Yukuma itself and the, whatever it was, the feather. I can't, I can't remember the name of what they're calling the feather now. Where it, 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 this was kind of seemed convoluted. I want to see how they try to simplify all this. Because there was a lot going on in this, in this episode. You had, first of all, the Seta Monster and the Akuma working hand in hand. Of course, the Seta Monster accompanies the Akuma. We figured that one out. We had the whole switching of the Miraculous themselves. That was something else. And then, of course, the subplot with Julika and being that model. And we saw Luca for a couple of seconds there, but I don't think he... He didn't really play that much in this episode, although that little guitar thing at the very beginning, that was pretty cool how they timed that. So it, it was kind of a lot going on, maybe a little too much to really focus on one thing in this episode. They kind of, It was one of those things where they seemed to try to cram everything into one episode, when I think maybe it would be better if they like kind of split this off into two episodes, where some of these elements had a little chance to breathe. Where they, I mean, that was the kind of the criticism of Star Wars Rise of Skywalker, Besides the whole, this thing will give you epilepsy if you watch it. It was way too much thrown at you at once. And I think in a way, it kind of threw a little too much, I guess. The one other thing I want to get to, and everybody keeps saying that Marinette's been as much of a guilty party as Chloe is of making people become accumatized, and this plays well into this. But I want to get to one thing about... Mana and Hadrian. Does anybody realize that Alia has been the matchmaker here? If it wasn't for Alia, Mana would have probably moved on to Luca by now. <laughs> because she always been the one person that has really tried to put these two together. And although Mana has done all these blah 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 blah, like she, she forgets how to talk in English every time Eric is around. This is, again, a little bit more of the crush thing that's been going on. Like, they consider themselves friends, but they don't go to the next level. With Luca and Marinette, more or less, you believe that. Like, they believe, you believe they are something to that. And, yeah, Thomas has said, he said, that the canon thing is going to be Adrian and Marinette, probably to make everybody who's wishing and wanting on the subreddit that that's going to be it, to breathe a sigh of relief. Because... They're going to raise Kane if it's not. But wouldn't be the best thing is be have the relationship that adds so much more to the story. Instead of having, okay, 
a forced one. And I think this is getting more forced a little bit. And again, the, one of the criticisms of the show is that it's dragging this whole thing out. Once the reveal happens, they really have nothing else to go to. I think with these subplots, I think they're starting to build a lot with these subplots. But they, it, it's just kind of threw a lot at you all the time. At one time, rather. Oh, yeah, it's seeming kind of too much of a matchmaker here. Where she's kind of becoming a little bit of a guilty party. And I'm focused on Alia so much that I kind of missed that. And again, this is more or less where there was like way too much stuff thrown at you at one time. Maybe it's just me being dumb or me not paying attention because I'm talking a lot. That uh, Julia was having a bit of a panic attack. Man, that was trying and trying to trying to get uh, Julia gets the. the no, it was all right if you and like you wanting her to come, but it was. But I think it was Alia's fault that. Baronet kind of got pushed into it in the first place, go in the sense, wouldn't she need to be mad at Alia here? That's something about Alia wanting to get these two together. Is it like she's trying to force the issue here? She's not as concerned about Adrian. Maybe Luca is the better bet, and maybe that's making me a more of a Luca Net fan at this point. But I feel so that is more or less one of the more genuine relationships that you believe. Where the, in part of the law square, where you have two people who are trying, who one's trying to force one together. Now, granted, they're kind of like compatible. I'll get that. I'll give them that. And that seems to be more of a genuine thing. Uh, it was an enjoyable episode. Just the fact that it was too. Mu I think it was a little too much. Because even when I talk about, it, and I know that's been a criticism of me that I talk over top of important issues, important things that I might need to pay attention to. This just seems like, even with that, even if I was a little bit quieter in this one, there was a lot there. So, a little too much. To where I think maybe it needed an additional episode to kind of explain the Santa Monsters a little bit. Because I don't know, maybe we missed that, as to who, what the Santa Monsters are. And I'm sure, again, there's probably somebody in the comment section who's typing it up right now that's... Say, these are who the Sentinel Monsters are. You look at me, look at this episode, it will tell you who the Sentinel Monsters are. Or maybe there'll be something in the this episode that gives more explanation as to what's going on. But despite that, the best part of the episode was the switching of the Miraculouses once we got to that part. But it, it just seems like it was too much there. It's not as bad, it's not as bad as what I heard Rice as a Skywalker was. Where it's just like threw things at you just to close out things. They had a purpose and they did have enough time to kind of explain what's going on. But at the same time, if you blink, you might have missed something. And maybe it was like just too much of too many different things. Where it's kind of not fitting into in the other parts of the particular storyline they're trying to tell there. If you want to do this in such a way that anybody can see these episodes in any order. And then you throw stuff stuff like this where you need an additional episode to explain what's going on where they feel like they've missed something along the way then shouldn't you watch these in a particular order that makes no sense at all those are my thoughts what are your thoughts about this am i wrong in thinking that there was a lot more concluded in this were they good bad somewhere in between am i wrong am i right what did i miss what i didn't miss leave a comment down below i will try to get back to them as much as i possibly can also keep in mind here on in if i don't get a episode out on a monday or if i don't get an episode out on that week please be advised that there's a lot going on right in the moment in terms of irl stuff or on or like out of online this stuff so i will try to do as much as i possibly can in order to get something out there but i can't guarantee that i'm gonna get stuff out every monday so if that is the case then please be understanding that there's a lot been going on lately that i wish didn't have to happen subscribe you know the drill i'm gonna try to get an episode out next monday although i do not guarantee it i am going to put that right out there till next time my name is jd shadow that just happened